Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will talk about the case when the robot.txt file is invalid, why it's important, how to check and how to fix the issue. What is it? Robot.txt file serves to provide valuable data for the search system scanning the web and provide the scanning robots with the strict rules where they should or should not go. Why it is so important? If your website has no robot.txt file, it will be crawled entirely. An invalid robot.txt configuration can cause two types of problem. It can keep search agents from crawling public pages causing your content to show up less in the search results. Or it can cause search agents to crawl pages you may not want to show in search results, for example, login pages, contact information, shopping cart and so on. How to find and how to fix the issue in order to see if there is an issue with your robot.txt file, you can right-click on the empty spot of the page, then click on Inspect button and navigate to Google Lighthouse. There, you will need to generate a report that will test your website for general performance and show if your robot.txt file is configured correctly. Or you can simply use our SiteShaker Site Audit tool that will check all the issues in terms of technical SEO, including invalid robot.txt file. It will also show you what exactly caused the issue. How to fix the issue? There can be several reasons that may make your robot.txt file invalid, but all of them can be easily fixed. The most common of them include the issue when no user agent specified, bad syntaxes, unknown directives and invalid sitemaps URL. Let's look into each of them. First, make sure there is a value for user agent. User agent names to tell search agent crawlers which directives to follow. To specify a particular search agent crawler, use a user agent name from its published list. For example, here is a Google list of user agents used for crawling. Use asterisks to match all otherwise unmatched crawlers. Here is a bad example of this rule and here is a good one, where a general user agent and a magic search bot user agent are defined. Second, fix any format errors. There are only empty lines, comments and directives matching the name, colon, value format are allowed in the robot.txt file. Make sure allow and disallow values are either empty or start with slash or asterisk. Also, don't use dollar sign in the middle of value. Make sure there is no allow and disallow directives before the user agent. Here is a bad example. In this case, no search agent crawlers will read the disallow downloads directive. Here is the correct way where all search agents are disallowed from crawling the downloads folder. Please know that search agent crawlers only follow directives in the section with the most specific user agent name. For example, if you have directives for user agent asterisk, which is all the agents, and user agent googlebot images, googlebot images will only follow the directives in the user agent googlebot image section. The last but not the least is to provide an absolute URL for a sitemap. Sitemap files are a great way to let search agents know about the pages on your website, together with the information about when they were last changed. If you choose to submit a sitemap file in robot.txt, make sure to use an absolute URL. So here is a bad example and here is a good one. That was it for today. If you enjoyed the video, hit like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our support, which is support at sideshaker.pro. See you in the next videos.